Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Today, we're going to be talking about speculation, condemned housing policy, and all types of other goodies in the Cleveland market, right? Because the property I have for you guys is going to encompass a lot of that, okay? 6915, all right? Hag Ave, 6915 Hag Ave, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. Now, I priced this bad boy at 149, okay? Total, total fucked up sh shit, right? The house is fucked, right? It's as fucked as fucked can be, okay? It's not going to work as a burr, right? Like, I don't think so. Realistically, that would be insane uh, to, to do it as a burr, okay? Because it's too, too far gone. Uh, you just need to really start over. The house itself is actually condemned, right? And if we could talk about houses that are condemned for a moment, okay? Condemned houses, folks, uh, the process to renovate a condemned house is much different than the process uh, to renovate, like, a regularly distressed home, okay? Uh, you take the Cleveland market, a lot of properties, 100-something years old, 100-plus years old, okay? When a house gets condemned, when you have to uh, fix it up, you have to go through the process to make everything be brought up to uh, brand new code, right? When it's this far gone and destroyed, it's got to be brought up to brand new code, right? So you don't get to have some of the benefits, cost-saving benefits of other renovations on older properties where you're grandfathered in uh, to a lot of stuff, right? This is a total loss situation, right? So to take this property and try to burr it out, probably not going to work. It would cost you too much, right? In this particular situation, the investment that makes the most sense for investors like you guys would be to tear it down, okay? You want to tear it down because there's some value in that land and there's some value in doing some things with that land, okay? This house, this area, it's in between two areas, that are pretty hopping, okay? You got Gordon Square, right? Everybody's probably heard of Gordon Square, Detroit Shoreway, right? A lot of new development, a lot of good stuff happening over there. So Gordon Square, that's quite nice. And then to the east, you have Clark Fulton, the Metro Health area. If you've watched any of my other episodes, my other shows, uh, other episodes of Vested Properties for Sale show, other episodes of uh, the MLS Search and Analysis show where I work with people one-on-one. -on -one. I talk to you guys about a lot of the stuff that's happening in Clark Fulton. I've mentioned this many, many times. I call the Clark Fulton neighborhood the Metro Health area quite often because Metro Health, they're investing a billion dollars into that area and the surrounding neighborhoods. In addition to the billion, be like boy, uh, the Transit Authority just committed like 45 or 60 million, something like that, uh, to the whole Clark Fulton area, right? Another development, okay? I'll link to both of those. Uh, I'll link a bunch of articles to both of those huge investments below, right? So I like the Clark Fulton Metro Health area because it's a super low-cost, D-grade area that I believe is going to gentrify and see a ton of action and eventually turn into the neighborhoods that surround it. Ohio City, Tremont, and guess what? Gordon Square, right? The Detroit Shore Gordon Square area. So this property, location-wise, you're right in the middle of all that action and happening with Clark Fulton and all that gentrification and stuff, right? So you couple that with the fact that Cleveland, folks, Cleveland is offering real estate investors a 15-year tax abatement, okay? A 15-year tax abatement on new construction homes, new construction homes that meet green building standards, right? What does that mean? That means homes that are essentially eco-friendly, right? You got to do a new construction home in the city of Cleveland, and then you don't have to pay taxes on that home for like 15 years, right? We're doing some stuff with those types of properties with our Airbnb business, right? We're looking at like... Two hundred and fifty to four hundred thousand dollar A grade stuff, high end Airbnb stuff, right? We're doing a lot of business like that right now. We're get we're getting that game moving, right? So this particular property, 
the house, it's dog shit, okay? But this land and the fact that you can get these tax abatements and where this land is located in the heart of all the action, there is a lot of upside to this land and this home, and I've made it as simple as humanly possible for you, right? 14900 is where we're going to start the bidding. Uh, don't email me and ask me for, like, a fucking bid to build you a goddamn house, right? That's not, <laughs> that's not how this works, okay? Like, if you're out there and you're thinking about making this purchase, you need to be suited and able to actually build your own home or be working with a developer to build your home. Holton Wise, we do renovations and whatnot, but we don't build homes, right? We are not a home builder. Technically, yes, we've built we've built homes in the past in Cleveland and gotten the tax abatement on homes we've built, but we are not in the business of being your builder, nor do I want to be your builder, nor is the process of like building a home something as simple as, Hey, James! How do I build a house? What's the price? Like, it's a little bit more involved than that, right? So you got to be able to do some of that legwork on your own, folks. I've I've put out as much as I possibly can for you to put the pieces together. Well, I put it all out for you on the table. You got to finish and put the pieces together, right? So I really think if, if you're an investor who doesn't have uh, the wherewithal to actually <clears throat> work on getting a home built, any other way than saying, Dad James, I have to build a house. It's probably not the deal for you, but I know there's a bunch of seasoned investors, developers, a lot of locals and stuff, uh, a lot of people that have been in the business a long time watching this show right now, and I'm sure you guys are all getting ready to make your bids. Uh, if you want to walk the property and uh, check that out, you, you absolutely can. Feel free. I believe you got to bulldoze the sucker, but, I mean, if you guys want to walk the property – that's totally fine. Uh, it's You can get in. It, it's just open. So, like, you know, feel free to go there uh, at your own risk, right? It's it's obviously a little dangerous, not safe. Uh, but, you know, if you want to go there, tour the area, peek in, you, you, could, you could do your stuff, right? You can get into the building. The building's not secured, right? So you can do all that jazz. And then what you want to do is submit your as is cash offers to us, sales at HoltonWines.com. The bidding will start at 14 9 you need to have your proof of funds and your pre-approval letters ready. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.